Welcome to Chris Cook for YouTube. Today have I got a real Mexican treat for you. I tried this dish when I was back home in Chicago. This dish is really fantastic. I didn't think that I was really going to love it or appreciate it, but I got it from a street vendor. But it was really, really good. And ever since then, I've had it in my home. My family has grown to love it, and so have I. So I'm bringing it to you. This is Mexican corn. So let's get started with the ingredients that you're going to need to make this delicious side dish or regular dish. It is really, really good. You're going to need the corn and fresh corn, of course. So I have some cobs here that I'm going to go away and I'm going to shuck, as they call it. And then I'll come back back and put it together. You will need mayo. That's right. You will need mayonnaise. You will need parsley, parmesan cheese, red pepper if you wanted to have a little kick to it. You don't have to use red pepper, but red pepper is required if you want just a hint of hot spice added to it. And you will need some butter. Now, this is real, real simple only the ingredients that you're going to need everything is already here all you have to do is to shuck or peel this corn and boil it once it's done you can put this together real real fast and easy so i'm going to go away get the corn all shucked and boiled and i'll be right back to show you how to put together this delicious mexican dish be right back Okay, now I'm back. When I went away, I realized that some of you may not know how to shuck corn. So I'm going to go ahead and show you. What you would do is actually just peel down all of the outer holes. If you have a long piece like this, you would just break it off. And then you see these little fine silk hairs that are on the corn. You will go ahead and take off as much of this as you possibly can. Because you don't want any of that to be left on your corn. Now... A lot, some of it you will lose in the water, you know, when it's boiling, but some of it you won't. So I just wanted to come back and show you. Now you need to get off as much of this as you possibly can, but for the sake of time, I'm not going to sit here and clean it. I'm going to sit it here so I can clean it, but I want to show you one more time how to shuck or peel corn. So you would take down your outer. Uh, hold this on the corn okay and then once you take it down if you have a long stem like this you just go ahead and break it okay and then any little silk hairs that you see on the coat on the corn this didn't have as many as the other one did but as any little silk hairs that you see on the corn you would go ahead and take that off now I'm going to add a little bit of butter and I'm going to add a little bit of milk when I get ready to boil to my boiling water and I'll post that at the bottom when I give you the recipe and that's just to make this corn a little bit sweeter and tenderer coming out. It's a little bit of milk, um, maybe about a fourth of a cup of milk and it's a tablespoon of butter. You don't need to do that. That's the way I cook mine. You can just boil it in water and you will be fine. But I wanted to come back and show you this. But if you do have the milk and you do have the butter, go ahead and add it because it will make it a little bit sweeter. So that's what I wanted to show you and I'll be back when I get it all finished. Thanks a lot. Be right back. Okay, we're back and I've just taken the corn out of the pot. So I'm going to rub it with just a little bit of butter. And as you can see, it's still very, very hot. Okay, I got that piece rubbed with some butter. Now at this point, if you want to add just a little bit of salt, you can. I don't really think that I'm going to need it. Okay, now we got both of them added with a little bit of butter. And at this point, if you see like some strings, you know, still there, that's that silk hair just go ahead and take it off I had a little bit of butter in my hand I wanted to get that off now the next thing you're going to do is you're going to spread this with some mayo now the only thing that made me fearful of this dish was when I was spreading it with the mayo when I first tried it and I'm like there's absolutely no way I'm gonna want to eat mayo on my corn but little did I know that this dish is really really a good dish and I think that you are truly going to enjoy it 
Okay, now once you get your mayo spread down on it, got a little bit on the on the plate. And depending on how you much you like mayo, that's how generous you can be when you're spreading it. The next thing you're going to do is you're going to cover it all the way around with your Parmesan cheese. And that Parmesan cheese mixed with that mayo, it just does something. Okay. Now I'm telling you, do not knock this until you have tried it because this is really, it is really and truly a fantastic way to eat your corn. Okay, once you get that down, if you want a hint of the red cayenne pepper, which is ground red, you could put just a hint on it. Because most of my dishes have to be kid friendly, you don't see me using a lot of cayenne pepper. But I'm going to sprinkle just a little bit down on this. And depending on how much you like cayenne pepper, that's how much you can actually put on there. Next, you're going to top it off with some parsley. Now, some use parsley and some don't. Personal preference. I'm going to put parsley on this. And if you need to just dab your corn with a little bit more Parmesan cheese, you're going to sprinkle some down on the plate. Just so you'll have a little bit more to kind of eat up that with. Now, there you go. Move this little speck there. That is Mexican corn. And I'm telling you, that is a great dish. I think that if you try this dish, you are going to truly enjoy it. And you're going to be trying it again and again. And don't do like I did. Because when I first looked at it, I'm like, no, this is just too much. This is a heart attack waiting to happen. But if you go lightly on the ingredients that you're going to be putting on your corn, like lightly on your mayo, lightly on your Parmesan cheese, you really shouldn't have a problem. This is an excellent dish. You can use it as a side dish. You can use it as a main course. It's an excellent dish and I think that you're really truly going to enjoy it. Just wanted to bring you something different. This is something that I have at my home all the time so I just wanted to share it with you. And as always thank you for watching Chris Cook for you too. Bye. Mm -hmm.